There, there is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh, haven't you guessed yet? Wait, it's the we already a, we already asked this question like almost word for word. Conviction's bad. Etiquette works. Logic works. Yeah, yeah. conviction is bad. I don't want to mention the spear. I've got an idea, but it might seem stupid. Trust me. Am I one? I mean, am I a demon? Would you like that? I must admit that the idea is appealing. Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. You, as much as me, you are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You know it. Deep down inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural charismatic presence comes from? Your talent must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No, stop it, it's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body without knowing why? No. Whilst asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I, what do you mean? Louis, I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but it's important that you know, Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis, but you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I, no, it, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Liar! Well, well. So now you're his bastard. You really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns. Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid. Ah, uh, not so clever now, are we? At last I found a way to put the pressure on you, Mortimer. Look, just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending it all. Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, I did not betray you. You're just like him. Oh boy. So we're in trouble. So Prue's vulnerable to etiquette and psychology. But he could be a home because he said that these people have family squabbles. What if he's what if it's home pretending to be Peru and that's why this is happening in the middle of this? That said, what if he's lying about everything and I'm not his son? I don't know. That kind of reveal is usually true in a narrative, admittedly. And it fits the fact that we probably are a demon in that we do see either the future or current events or past events or something. We have visions that are of stuff that's happening. And then we have also had those multiple visions where, we're, where we inhabit other people when we go to sleep. So those powers are being acknowledged for the first time and all seem to be true. But he could still just not be our father. This does mean we're the grandson of Jesus, if that is true. But I might use a devil's thorn just to see for sure whether it's home or Peru. He's immune to diversion? Does that match? So he's immune to diversion and we don't know that yet because we've never discovered it before. But that's not home then. It is actually him. Monsieur Peru, I don't even know what this is all about. It's quite simple. You're like them. If that's enough to make me unforgivably evil, then I'd prefer you shoot. But I don't feel as if I've changed. I'm, I'm still the same man I was an hour ago. They will corrupt you. It's inevitable. And I won't be able to resist like you are now. Uh, well. Give me the benefit of the doubt. Think about it a moment. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference does it make? 
Manipulation and questioning. He's vulnerable, right? It's hard to remember some of this sometimes. Etiquette and psychology is what he's really vulnerable to. He's immune to, to questioning, apparently. Hmm. Jack, I can assure you that what Lord Mortimer just told me makes no difference. That's what you think. But you're already in his hands. And you don't even know it, Louis. No, Jack, it's the contrary. Everything that's been happening here has been carefully planned by the Golden Order for months, and everything is going exactly as planned. Lower your weapon. It's all right, it's over. You'll make it through, and you're going to get your life back. You're just like him. You are already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it, but it's already too late. In fact, I haven't got any choice. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot me. Jack, I'm the only one who can help you resolve the situation. I'm just asking you to trust me. I'm not against you. <laughs> it's over. Come now, Mr. <laughs> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you and not on your nature. <laughs> yes, it's true, and the same holds true for all of us. <laughs> Monsieur Peru, I am willing to overlook this latest scene. You can thank my son for that. I think, however, that you ought to take your leave for your good and ours as well as that of your daughter. Shaken up, you've experienced many significant events since your arrival. Mm, I'm not sure how to answer this one. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. I don't think that's the question that I'm answering with yes, no, or I don't really know. I think it's not too shaken up. Like, because of the negative, it makes it slightly confusing to answer. Like, yes, I am not too shooken up, or no, I'm not too shooken up. Like, both of those could mean the same thing due to the vagaries of how people speak. To tell you the truth, I don't get much time to ask myself those questions. Quite right. Best not to react to all this too suddenly. Take some time to think about it all. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. You want to talk things over with her? So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. What do you mean? Open your mind, my son. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there, inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear my voice. Feel the vibrations and listen to what has been happening to you deep inside, but which you have been concealing. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. I... I can hear something. Now breathe. It's a sound, very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... whispers, words, mixed voices. Mm. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I hear them. Now, now I can hear a clear voice. Well done, Louis. 
Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. I... what? You heard me. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. Okay. Man, we're trusting a lot. Like, it's true, he's saying stuff that we should believe, like, the power is being real and everything, but for all we know, this exercise is opening our minds so he can infiltrate it. Like, it's a real, really questionable thing to trust. But he's just going for it. But I'd be violating their minds, no, wouldn't I? No, no, nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their psyches. Let's just say you'll be picking up residual signals emitted by their thoughts. It isn't intrusive at all, rest assured. There are also a few rules you need to know that govern this talent when used between ourselves. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourself will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But let's be clear. What is most considered bad form is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. Holm? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. On that note, go and see Sarah Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later, if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. Reading thoughts. It's just a mechanic now. Surprise. It's a good thing I specialize in the occult, apparently. Huh. It really spells out that, like, they're kind of garbage. And they, like, see themselves as being better than humans. And not- and that humans are unworthy of basic rights if they have this ability to read minds, which they use without a single problem on humans. He even said, it's not intrusive at all, which it's very intrusive. Even if it, if it isn't damaging and like physically intrusive, it doesn't directly affect them. It's still, by its very nature, basically the definition of the word intrusive. It's <laughs> like you're going, in, you're getting into their shit against their will. And simultaneously, they're all like, but you shouldn't read the minds of demons. It's a matter of courtesy. It's like, oh yeah, is it rude? Is it rude to read people's mind? Interesting. Interesting little line you drew there where only it's only only demons deserve that courtesy. Thoughts reading. That's we have a term for that. Mind reading. Thoughts reading is such a weird way to put that. You are now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your inter interlocutors. Each use of mind reading costs one essence. <coughs> Sorry. That that triggered something. Ah. I'm back. <clears throat> Each use of the mind reading costs costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronted confronted to an immunity, two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Huh. It looks like we have three essence points total. It's like a different meter. Interesting. To, I'm, in, I'm very interested in the idea they're layering on new mechanics at this point. Although it's pretty late. But I'm guessing we have three total. So Devil's Thorn will heal your... Will heal them. Every immunity gives you one and every vulnerability gives you two. So that's a, you get a lot of opportunities to get them, but you have a very shallow pool. What if I just immediately go for it? <laughs> what if he's not even a demon? He's lying the whole time. Yeah. You're right. I need to go now. See you later, Lord Mortimer. One more thing. If you want to know the truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763 at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. It's a hell of a strong claim. 
He could be lying, though. There's so many things he could still be lying about, despite the parts it's that hook into that the I truth. All these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. That was a weird phrase for you to use in this context. Uh, like, everything he said could be true, all the way up to potentially the surprise of, like, actually, your mother's alive, and Sarah is your mother. So, the, then, and he is your father. Like, that could be the surprise. This dead mother could be fictional, for all we know. And that could be the big surprise. Where am I? Have I been here before? I don't remember. I don't think I've ever done anything here. It's like an open courtyard right outside the front door. I feel like this has been on the map before, but I don't think I've been here before. I think it's been like, it's probably been a chunk of the map that they never finished. I could be wrong though. It might just be that I never spent time here so I forgot about it. I don't know. Cause this is the front courtyard. I believe, yeah, like it was always on the map, but then I'd go out this door and I'd just be, I think I would just be instantly on, at, at the wharf. Not that there's much to see. A devil's thorn to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. So many weird archways. Hey, Mom, I've got secrets. I'm gonna need a record of who you slept with over the last X years. Man, that mind reading power really, really would have come in handy with the whole which twin's the real one conundrum. That would have been a good, a good time to have that ability. Damn. More jelly. I really should have revisited certain locations I know about to get more resources once I spend some of them. I don't really want to make the return trip now, though. So back to where it all started. I would expect to have a big choice of whether to rebel or ally with Mortimer. It'd be weird if I didn't- hey, what are you doing here? You wouldn't have seen- Mother? What's happened? No, mother! No! She's ruined my life, Louis. I am sorry. What were you thinking? Emma meant everything to me. Your mother destroyed everything by shooting her. She was me, and I was her. Dear God, I beg you, make him kill me. I've had enough of it all. I no longer have the strength in me. Logic versus conviction. I need a reminder. Well, this didn't go well. I mean, the questioning. Vulnerable to psychology. <sighs> yeah, Emma was the one. Yeah, Emma's the one that's dead. Emily's the one that's still here. She's vulnerable to psychology. We don't know her other her, her other immunities though. the one who killed Emma, not my and mother. it wouldn't have happened if Sarah hadn't struck out at Emma first. Well, now I know about that. She's immune to logic. Shit. Dear God, I beg you, make him kill me. I've had enough of it all. I no longer have the strength in me.
I needed to talk to her. She was going to tell me everything. I am sorry. I did what Emma would have done. Get out of here. Why have you always lied to me? Why didn't you ever tell me I was his son? Well, shit. I did not arrive in time to save Dara, Sarah D. Rishi. Hello? And I could have also discussed something with Manuel Godoy somewhere. Huh. So all of those failures are basically the same failure. So apparently Sarah could have not died. Did I need did I need to avoid Hmm. Was the secret to not talk to Mortimer? Like did I have to avoid the whole conversation in order to get there or something? I'm just wondering where the hook was to secretly find a completely different outcome. Was there a time limit built into the game, or did doing certain actions split things? Huh. It's rough, because that was a surprise, wasn't it? I didn't have any reason to think she was about to be murdered by Hillsborough specifically in that moment. So there wasn't even a race against time in the narrative, it just it's just a surprise. It seems like maybe, because we have no reason to, to trust Mortimer. Uh, it seems very possible that Mortimer even orchestrated this specifically to kill Sarah while pretending not to be interested in being all like, yes, go talk with her while planning her death. I'm curious. I'm curious. Four points to go. We got Vigilance, Agility, and Linguistics. Let's go the Agility for now. And then Vigilance. Uh, double up on that for now. We unfortunately have nothing to read. I'm just, just too good at reading. It's, we've become all powerful. Rational and open. I spent my whole life swimming in lies. Emily, what a waste. I feel like I know nothing. That I have to learn everything all over again. I'm a demon. I age more slowly. I can mentally manipulate people. I don't even know if it's a good thing or a curse. No. No, this is an advantage. I could get used to this pretty quickly, I think. Damn it. What a mess. Come on. Man up, Louis. I'm still the same old me. Demon or not, I'm still in charge of my actions. And this father, I know nothing about. Yes, I've still got a lot to learn. It's enough to drive you crazy. Everything I believed in, nothing holds true anymore. Pull yourself together, man. I need to find some answers. There's no way of being alone for a minute. All right, things got very weird. So our, our entire anchor to reality and even our goal and what we want to accomplish in this game is all gone. Like at this point, we are unmoored and being completely unattached and so on, it'd be easy for it'd be easy for Louis to then take the go to the conclusion of just falling into the arms of this new father figure and whatever he wants to do because our mother and our mission have died essentially please excuse me but i am unable to join you that's like an old one isn't it like when i first got here what's that oh another coin i was hoping for consumables no luck this time 
Is it going to be Washington being like, well, shit, Sarah's dead. What do we do now? Sir Gregory? Good day, Louis. I think it would be good to talk. How are you feeling? I don't know. I understand. I heard that William spoke to you at last about our nature and our family. It's a good thing. But you must be a bit shaken up. That's the least you can say. I bid you welcome among us, Louis. Knowing William, he probably didn't go into any detail about our family, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Conviction doesn't work. Is there a head of the family? You'll see. You'll meet them all, of course. When you are ready, they created us and set out the rules, especially our father. As for our mother, she retired from the political stage. We don't see her much anymore. I think that all these questions simply bore her. I can't ask about him possessing Piagi. I guess our character canonically doesn't know that still. What's Lord Mortimer's problem? I think he allows himself to be devoured by a need for recognition. Has he always been like that? More or less, but thinking about it, I believe that the birth of our latest sibling greatly accentuated his discomfort. Do you think he's jealous? I didn't realize you were so good at behavioral analysis. Indeed, William certainly is prone to jealousy. Finding one's place, notably in the eyes of our father, is not easy, and we each do what we can to succeed. But I can't justify this perpetual rebellion against our rules. Wow, you must be have some sort of master's degree in behavioral analysis. You understood the concept of a sibling being jealous of a new sibling. Okay. How many of us are there in the family? We are eight brothers and sisters. What do you mean by brothers and sisters if we can change bodies? You reason with logic. Uh, we have retained the human habit. When we first come into this world, we retain a certain attachment to our first envelope. If we are born as a man, we are brothers. If we are born as a woman, we are sisters. But I must admit, it has absolutely no real importance. They're just bodies. Yeah, we wouldn't want any trans demons. That would be crossing a line, apparently. Well, tell me then, are there any other families like ours? There are officially seven, but we are the oldest and therefore the most powerful. What a weird rule to establish. I see. There is still much to learn. Yes, it's true. You've got some catching up to do, my boy. One thing you must understand regarding any disagreements that might arise between William and myself is his position with regard to mankind. W what do you mean? Well, for centuries we've been trying to help and therefore preserve humanity. Monarchies are simple and practical. They enable us to inspire humanity efficiently, and I can't understand why William wants to replace them with democracy. Oh boy, modern democracy is a bummer, but it's mostly because of how it doesn't, in many ways, just isn't democratic. There is a tiny framed circular photo of Neptune devouring his son on the wall next to us. Why? Why would you want a tiny, look at it, it's right there. Why would you want that? Like it's, like it's a little like family picture, like how cute is that? Like it's... It's already like, I'm like, why is there, in, why would I want to have it in this bedroom here? There's already the other terrifying one downstairs, but then there's this tiny little duplicate down there. But if your intention is not to dominate the human race, why not let them be master of their own destiny? I perfectly understand this type of reaction from you, less from William. The main thing you're lacking is time. 
Man is transient, and one of his particularities is that he does not learn from the errors of his peers. He uses up an incredible amount of energy building and destroying whatever he himself has put into place. If we weren't here to help them, guide them, I sincerely believe that humanity would have become extinct by now. We are eternal, Louis. When we plan ahead, we do it for the long term. Yes, I, I understand, but that's more like tyranny, isn't it? Well, it's all a question of your point of view. From man's point of view, I can understand how he would have that impression, if ever he found out. But don't forget your true nature. From the demon's point of view, in other words, ours, letting man do as he thinks fit would equate to letting him race to his own demise. But what about man's freedom to choose? That is man's worst enemy, Louis. Imagine a creature that dies without reaching the age of adulthood. It remains a child. We have to help him, otherwise he will put himself in danger. It has taken centuries for our family to establish relative peace between demons. Thanks to this policy, we have been able to decide everything by confining the other families to subordinate roles. And now William is obsessed with disrupting everything. Peace between demons? What do you mean? I'm not talking about conflicts within our family. If that was all there was, everything would be fine. But several other families, younger but nonetheless powerful, are trying to upset the balance. At present, we dominate most of the major countries around the globe. But some families are pushing, via less influential countries, to gain ground. Do you understand? As best I can, yes. When the time comes, you must take up a position on the political chessboard. I only hope your father doesn't take you down with him. Kind of feels like, to some extent, an argument in favor of democracy if demons have such direct power over all of these different countries that then they're going to use these countries as a, and wield them as a club against each other. Then ripping power from them in the first place would kind of help that problem. It's like we need to keep we need to control the humans because they're so stupid and destroy themselves and aren't willing aren't capable of running the ruling themselves peacefully. By the way, there's basically like maybe an upcoming war between the demons that are controlling the humans for the sake of said conflict, almost as if the demons maybe aren't actually as much better as they are claiming to be. I can't be the only one who's bothered by the fact that the the eyeball essence purple diamonds down there have a completely different spacing from the white ones. Like why why couldn't they make them have the same spacing? Like have the dime have the have them point at the tops of the white diamonds of the top row so it looks nice and nice and even or something. Uh, ah, the spacing is so weird and it's bothering me. Are you suggesting he, he might be in danger? Well, Louis, our father's patience is not limitless. If William ever does go too far, then yes, he will be in danger. I want you to make an informed choice. Now go and see your father, see what he has to say, and then think it over very carefully. That's exactly what I intended to do. Thank you, uncle. Don't mention it. If I've been able to help you in any way, go now. Last time we talked to a demon and they said, go talk it out and make your up your own mind in accordance to what they claim. I went to, I went to that location and found that person dead, so it's not a good precedent. Uh, little odd that he called him uncle. I had the choice to call Mortimer father or Lord Mortimer. Kind of hinting at the idea of whether or not I'm willing to accept calling them father at this point, but I slipped right into uncle apparently.